This MAN Halber is a 4x4 truck and it's an old timer. In this configuration it's fitted with a snowplow and salt spreading equipment. The packaging is pretty standard, it's a Conrad branded box. And inside foam rubber protects the model and the parts. There's no information about the real truck and there's no information about the model either. And the instruction sheet probably would have been a good idea because there are quite a few parts and features. There was only one issue getting the model out of the box and that's the headlamp lens had come off one of the headlights. But it was no problem because it's easily pushed back into place. We'll start the assembly by removing the plastic width indicators from the sprig. And they can just be pulled off or you can use a knife if you want maximum precision. The width indicators just press into place at the front of the truck. And on the real vehicle the driver used these so that he could judge the width. Next to add are the door mirrors which press loosely into place behind the front headlights. And then the main item to add is the snow plow and that clips onto a plate at the front of the truck. It's a simple interlocking mechanism and once it's in it's a good fit. There's just one more bit of detail to complete the assembly and that's marker flags which just press into place. The MAN 4x4 chassis is detailed with the transmission modelled in plastic and the steering is modelled for function. The tyres have a decent tread pattern and are mounted on plastic wheels and the old curved MAN body shape is captured well. The MAN grille at the front also looks good. The snowplow assembly is mainly metal and the blade has anti-wear plates detailed along the bottom. There's plenty of reasonable detail behind the blade including the stabiliser wheels, although the brass rivets are a little obtrusive. The metal tipper body has ribbed sides with a few graphics, and at the back there are painted lights and plastic mud flaps. The hopper body and spreader is metal as are the access ladder and legs. The cover on top is plastic and inside there is a salt deflector and there's a real rubber belt at the bottom. Out on the cranes etc test track and the MAN goes along satisfyingly smoothly. And as usual for Conrad the rear wheels are independent and there's a degree of movement to represent suspension. Also as you would expect the steering is very good, the functionality is excellent and a really tight angle can be achieved. So it poses well and it can also be pushed along in a tight circle. Moving on to the snow plow and it has an angled blade so you can push the snow to either side, which is ideal if you want to spray the people at the bus stop. The blade can also be positioned for height either fully down or you can raise it up for easy driving when there's no snow. But what happens if you've got a problem with the engine where well, you can lift the whole of the hood up and that lets you see the chromed engine which is modelled inside. The hood is well engineered because it can be posed in the open position and it feels nice to gently close it up. At the rear the salt spreading equipment has an access ladder which can be folded down and if you're nosy you can also take the lid of the hopper off and that lets you see the plastic deflector and the rubber belt underneath it. Also at the back the salt spreader can be positioned down in service or it can be raised up out of service. Now for the genuine imitation real life test. Let it snow, let it snow, let it, well there is no snow so let's try something else. Yes it's a victory for management. One of the nice features of the model is that you can dismantle all of the winter equipment. So you can take the plough off the front and also the attachment plate if you get the screwdriver out. And the salt hopper also detaches from the tipper body. A nice body deserves nice legs and four metal legs are provided with this model. And they just slide loosely into place into the connectors. If you're clever you can do this without any of the legs sliding out before you've got them all in. And if you achieve that give yourself a reward and go and dust off all your model shelves. With all the winter equipment removed, the MAN tipper truck can then be posed as a normal tipper. And to help with that, a separate tailgate piece is provided. However, on the review model, this was very difficult to fix. It's probably a matter of paint thicknesses and casting tolerances. But some paint and metal had to be carefully filed off to get the tailgate to fit. But after some effort, it does fit and then you have a normal tipper truck. The body tips to a reasonable angle so you can see the chassis underneath. And the hydraulic ram is stiff enough so it will hold any pose that you want to set. As already mentioned the tailgate is a difficult to fit part but you can also open it and you can therefore pose the model in a tipping position with the tailgate down. In summary this is a nice functional model of an old timer tipper truck from Conrad. 
It's mainly metal and it looks nice with some reasonable detailing. But it's the functionality and flexibility which is the real plus point, and so it's highly recommended. Thank <laughs> you.